你好，祝你有美好的一天。这就是频道 Celebrity News Today 两百四十七。这是今天的新闻。She owns a Jade Bone Remote and Goose Factory plan to use dubbing. And it is clear that she Alzen's lines have passed the test. After the broadcast of Please Advise the Rest of Your Life, she Alzen's fans entered the next stage of anticipation. What is looking forward to is Jade Bone Remote starring Shi Ao Jan and Ren Min, which is a large S project of Goose Factory. It is reported that the play has been successfully reviewed and is waiting to be broadcast at an appropriate time. A recent topic has made this drama hotly debated and has become the object of attention. This topic is not easy. Taking advantage of the trend, the series ranked third in the Deta Win upcoming drama prosperity index. This topic is post. Dubbing, which is the regular process of film and television production, just ask which film and television drama does not need dubbing nowadays, and it will be used more or less. Goose Factory wants to enable dubbing, causing dissatisfaction from the outside world. Since dubbing is so common, why is it a topic of conversation? Naturally, this approach aroused dissatisfaction. Fans and ordinary audiences do not want to use dubbing. They all want Shi Ao Jan to use the original voice. This voice of opposition is completely understandable. There are only a few famous voice actors. For example, Jiang Guangtao, Chao Shaiyu, Zhang Jia, Bian Zhang, and so on. When watching the drama, the male and female protagonists are different, but every mouth is a familiar voice. Lead to a rebellious mentality. It's like watching a voice actor fall in love in a play. From a professional point of view, actors can do without dubbing. Without dubbing, the powerful actor Yin Tao said, "Because of the environment, if the live radio effect is not good, you can use dubbing assistance. If it's for other reasons, I don't understand why voiceovers are used." Yin Tao's implication is to use the original sound as an actor, which is one of the basic qualities of an actor. Yes, Yin Tao is right. As long as the actor's lines are fine, in other words, it's not particularly bad. You should use your own voice, relying on the original sound to make the character more full. After all, the blessing of the voice actor is only temporary. Or do some exercise on your own. Coupled with the proliferation of dubbing, the audience did not say anything, and the relevant departments have already noticed it and will issue policies to restrict it. This is to force the actors to work hard on the lines and deepen the basic literacy of the profession. Shi Ao Jan usually speaks in a more eloquent manner. During the Qingming Festival special event some time ago, he recited ancient poems and won unanimous praise from the audience. It can be said. Shi Ao Jan has the skills of lines, and it is understandable that he is divorced from dubbing. It will not be in a state of seeing the light and dying, causing criticism from the outside world. Shi Ao Jan's lines have passed the test, and the original sound has been used in Ace Troop. And please advise the rest of your life. Of course, it's not that Shi Ao Jan's lines are impeccable. Be honest. Not many actors can be 100% true to their words, and there are more or less flaws. For example, Lu Tao has a big tongue when he speaks his lines, and rolls his tongue inadvertently when it is time to flatten his tongue. There is also the powerful Sun Li. The explosive power of the lines is sometimes not enough, and so on. Speaking of Shi Ao Zhen's line skills, it is indeed above the qualified line. Ace Troop is a typical example. Shi Ao Jan used the original sound in the play. Perfect interpretation of Gu Yi Ye. Through the lines, we can see the sonorous power of the character. Neither humble nor arrogant, correct and serious. There is also please advise the rest of your life. The Gu Hui played is the original sound. The effect is good when it's time to su su. Serious when it should be serious. Helpless when it should be helpless. There is no discomfort at all, and it blends in with the character. Listening to the lines in Shi Ao Zhen's play, the most intuitive feeling is that the lines are clear, articulate clearly. The sentences are reasonable and cadenced, and there is no taste of boiled water. You can hear the progression of emotions and the meaning expressed in them. Therefore, Shi Ao Zhen's original voice in Time Shadow has no sense of disobedience. On the contrary. 
It is a bonus item, with the natural taste of the character Xiao Zhan said in a variety show that he was second class A in Mandarin. It is an advantage when he enters the entertainment industry as an actor in the future, at least it is not a problem to establish that he can read his lines. Nowadays, many actors are very embarrassed to read their lines, and basically they can't get any points. Not to mention acting. Xiao Zhan is obviously one step ahead in this regard, and he is even better than the undergraduates. Goose Factory still has to use dubbing even when Xiao Zhan's lines have passed the test. This is somewhat disrespectful to public opinion. Audiences want to hear the original sound, the platform side just does the opposite. What does this mean? Secondly, the ancient puppet dramas of Goose Factory are those voice actors repeatedly. The audience is already bored. For example, the voices of the hero and heroine of Let's Try the World, they are all old friends of the audience. The same voice as the character, so nondescript, it's easy to dance directly. What affects the popularity of the episode and the amount of online playback, some of the rhythm is not worth the loss.